we can pretty we pretty much digest it. Amen. Amen. So we just thank God. Thank y'all. Keep your eyes open. Get something bigger. Amen. God open up the door. Amen. So we can invite folks out. Right now we just got mountain house and we have capacity pretty much. We can be spread out a little bit. Amen. We just give God the praise for what he's doing. Today we're dealing with false prophets and religious cults. False prophets and religious cults. You know, God, we ask that you open up our understanding as we open up the word of God today. Because some folks, they don't believe that there's false prophets out there. They don't believe that there's false apostles. They don't believe that there's false bishops and teachers evangelists, prophets, and prophetess. But I'm going to show you in the word of God that everything that glitter, it sure may go. Everything that glitter, it sure is not gold. And everything that we do called churchy surely ain't the Lord. Amen? Amen. Let's go to the word of God today. Revelation chapter number 21. Revelation chapter 21. Amen. 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 Oh, Jesus. In verse 27. And the Bible say, And thou shalt in no wise, talking about heaven, heaven, enter into that city, the New Jerusalem, and in any that, that found it, neither whatsoever work an abomination. Are making a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You got some lying folks out there in church. Amen. Don't let nobody see you got some lying folks out there in church. Amen. Even in the body of Christ. Some hypocrites. I said hypocrites. And one of the worst things you do not want to be, you do not want to be churchy. Being churchy, coming to church and not possessing what you're confessing. You don't want to be one way in the house of God, and when you get home, you're a Dr. Jack or Mr. Hyde. What you want? You got what? What, what they call schizophrenia? What they call a bipolar disorder? And I'm not down to the one that has schizophrenia. And I'm not down to the one that had, that struggled with mental illness. But I heard a preacher here one day, one, one time I preached a word called spiritual, you know, mental illness. Amen? Amen. You can be bipolar spiritually. Amen? Amen? I'm telling y'all what God loves. So when you're making a lie, when you're pretending to be something that you're not, you're a liar. And you can come to church and learn all the mannerism, learn all the church jargon, know how to say, praise the Lord. I'm blessed going forward. I'm blessed coming. I'm blessed the moment. And I'm blessed behind me. And you ain't doing nothing but lie. Amen. Because you're a hypocrite. Right. You're fornicating. You're committing adultery. You're lying. You're cheating. You're conniving. Amen? Amen. Anything that was making a lie, you don't want to be a what they call in the world a despian. I said despian. Despian means actor. You don't want to be a despian in the house of God. You want to be real. Right. What you see in the house of God need to be what you see when you get home. Amen. Revelation chapter twenty-two, verse fifteen. Revelation 22 and verse 13, dealing with false doctrines, religious cults. You know, I was looking at, I, I, I was looking at a documentary of Jim Jones and how people flock to him. Let me let y'all know something. When your pastor starts preaching crazy junk, you be all say, you need to exit stage right. When that man of God begin to teach false Doctrine next to the left. Don't you dare follow someone that is not preaching out of this Bible, out of this sickness, this book of the word of God. Amen. Don't follow them. Don't run behind them. People follow behind people that don't even 
preach the word of God. Amen. False teaching. I got lost in mind. The moment I start preaching something that ain't in this Bible, in this 66 books you got, you have my permission. You are encouraged by Pastor Joe to get up and ask the same right or same left. Uh, you know, the pastor is just a man. I know he fell a little bit with the women in the church, but boys will be boys and men will be men. You still follow behind your pastor like a dog? You're going to watch it. You're going to be looking at your daughter. Amen. 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 False teaching. Cough. Oh, my goodness. Everything that jump and shout in the house of God is not right. Everything that play on the instruments and play on the drums, on the keyboard, and on the all. Baby, let me explain something to you. Some people just give them. The Bible say gifts they call it or without repentance. Talents are just given to me. You just give. Just because you can play the keyboard, just because you can play the drum, don't mean that you are anointed by God. It means you give that. Just because you can preach, just because you can rock back, don't mean that God is pleased with you. Oh, he preach, I feel something going down my spine. Woo, Jesus. He shall preach. And, he, and he's shaking your hands and rubbing on this side of your hands. You better watch out for stuff like that. Amen? Let's go with Revelation chapter 22. You know, look how God will go down. A weak-minded person. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Follow someone that's able to manipulate their mind. Did you not know people know when they're able to manipulate your mind? Oh, me and do it all the time. If I could just talk to her, if I could just get into her ear, I'm going to get in some other places. If I could just talk to her. Because women, by what happened to the serpent, they're going to be. The devil had to get what? Into ease what? Yeah. And what did he do? He tricked Eve by what? The fruit. Because the fruit was good. Pleasant to the eyes. That's right. Fruit would be desired. Make me alive. So he tricked her by what she heard with her ears and what she saw with her eyes. Amen. And Adam, he got tricked by the woman. <laughs> What's our giving to a man of God? It's women. So, guess what? The devil started using a woman to manipulate the man and everybody fall. That's how it started, right? That's the word. Let's go to the word of God. Revelation chapter 21. It's a weak minded person, I'm telling you. People know when they can manipulate your mind. They know that. Amen. And some people operate like that. It's a, when I was in the military, man, I got boot camp was a mind game. Yes, it was. The person that, that I think was Chief Griffin that uh, recruited me to the Navy said, keep your mouth shut, you're going to get it too. I kept my mouth shut, coming out of boot camp, I had it too. Man. It's a mind game. Hallelujah. <laughs> you start talking back to the real instructions, you're going to find yourself on a brig, baby. Let's go to the Word of God. In the brig, in jail. Okay, Revelation, back in the day they did. I don't know what they do now. They might talk to them. You know, they really friendly, kind, and, you know, socially acceptable now. Okay, Revelation chapter 22, verse 15. And the Bible says, Amen. Let's start with verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward, my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Bless the day that do his commandments, the day that they may what? Have a right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and adulterers and whosoever and who and, and whosoever love it and make it alive. False. Good. 
Man, get rid of his wife. He's looking at the, the next sister, same sister he can get his eyes on too. Been trying to get rid of his wife. Been trying to get rid of her husband. All this junk in the house of God. All this stuff in the house of God. Don't you know, if anybody ever gets divorced in this church, don't you ever come and get a suit in this church and try to marry inside of this church when your wife or his husband go to this church. I ain't going to do it. And I might ask you to leave the church. You ain't gonna be jumping and shouting in here with a sister that you had to hide from when you was married, or a brother that you had to hide from when you was married. Amen. Amen. All this kind of junk is going on in the church, and the pastor won't say nothing about it. That's right. Them dogs that won't part. Them dogs that won't open up their mouth. Well, I ain't scared. Don't nobody pay my salary here. I ain't scared to tell y'all the unadulterated truth. Amen. You get divorced in this church, go down the road and find your wife. Go down the road and find your husband. Can I get an amen? amen? Come walk in here with your new wife in the presence of your old wife. Come walk in here with your new husband in the presence of your old husband. You ain't welcome in this house. I don't care. We don't never get above 100. We ain't never. Oh, 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 it's way over. It's 100 past that guy. I don't care. We never get a 200, 150, or 200. We ain't going to play that game here. As long as I'm pastor here, we ain't going to play that game. Anything ain't going that matter. The devil is alive. Amen. I will ask you to leave. Amen. Do you want to go through the front door? Or do you want to go through the back door? But go. Amen. Amen. And take your new bride with you. Oh, you love her. Amen. Jesus, help us, Lord. See you. We want to be here. Amen. Anything that make it to life. Anything that make it to life. Right. Galatians chapter number 1, verse 6 through 10. Now, I ain't know you believe that. Now you know how you like me now. Amen. Now you know. I ain't know that, Pastor. You think like that? Yes, I think like that. I believe just like that. Jesus. And you don't have to say amen. I feel like y'all are talking amen, amen lights. Amen. Amen, amen lights. Amen. The devil is alive. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. You let like Jay read for me. Galatians chapter number uh, 1 and verse 6. And I'll catch up with you. Amen. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. He said, I marvel. I marvel that ye are so soon removed. I'm stunned. From him that called you uh -huh. into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Unto another gospel. Well, hey, let me let y'all know something. We are not only apostolic of teach the apostles' teaching, we are holiness. Amen. 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 Did y'all know Mount Ministry is a holiness church? Amen. Amen. We ain't just apostolic. Well, hold on, because you can be apostolic and not holiness. Amen. And you can be holiness and not apostolic. Amen. We are apostolic holiness. So we have a standard over here. Amen. 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 So if you get out of this church and go to another church, try to make sure they still have what? The standard. Oh, you're in another church. Well, we still believe in baptism in Jesus' name, but are you holy? Are you holy anymore? Yeah. Anybody, if you get baptized in Jesus' name and you ain't holy, you just a wet baptized person in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. You just wet. Yeah. Read. I marvel that you are so soon removed. I'm confused that you're so soon removed. From him that called you unto grace of you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Uh -huh. But though we are an angel from heaven. What? But though we are an angel from heaven. What the foundation that was laid for now don't change. Man. If I go back and teach something else to y'all. 
the foundation was right. See, I don't, I don't play them games because a lot of times the pastor changes. The pastor has changed. Are you going to change because your pastor? If you knew what the pastor was teaching was right from the get go, why are you going to change with him? Don't we are who? An angel. I had a dream, pastor, and an angel of heaven told me. I was speaking, I was in my prayer, and an angel came to me and told me. Read it again. But though we are an angel from heaven, <coughs> preach any other gospel unto you. Then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. So doctrine is very important. What you are taught in the word of God, you're going to have to answer for on judgment day. Amen. If I'm teaching you out of the Bible and ain't teaching you out of my own thoughts, you're going to have to answer on judgment day. Read, please. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel, any other gospel, any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be a curse. I saw some pastor dancing the Marvin Gaye out of the park with all his church. My Lord. I'm saying, if anybody holy go to that church, why don't they just leave? Right. He danced the Marvin Gaye, and new folks was up there dancing with him. Oh, damn, throwing down. Baby, you could have kept Marvin Gaye and stayed in the club. That's right. That's right. Don't bring that junk to church. That's right. My Lord. Keep reading, please. For do I not persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after me. Okay, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got, I got to slow down in just a second because some people don't understand. There's going to be some times I'm going to preach something that's going to hurt your feelings. Can I give a warning? Yeah. There's going to be some times you're going to be doing something you ain't got no business doing, and I'm going to preach what you're doing, and it's going to hurt you. Right. Do I decide to persuade men or do I decide to please God? See, some pastors are scared to preach because I might run everybody off. Well, if some of them get to heaven, you've done all right. Amen? Amen. Keep reading. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past, in the Jews' religion. That, that's good enough. That's good enough. I just want y'all to understand it's important not to leave what you've been taught. Don't leave what you've been taught. If you know holiness is right, stick with holiness. Don't change. Don't change. Man. You can change churches, just you don't change. Don't change. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Let's go to the word of God, Matthew 24, verse 11. And the Bible says, many false prophets shall arise and shall see many. Y'all believe that? Amen. Many false prophets. Jesus told him before it came to pass. He said, many, many, many. How, see, baby, we live in a time of many. Where many folks are rising up and they got churches that represent everything. You got churches that represent, and don't you think that everything that's dressed up nice on Sunday is going to a hole in this church? I'm telling y'all what God will. I don't know why I'm telling somebody here. You got churches that fit every belief. Mm. Right. Now, about every belief out there, they got a church, a religious organization to back them up. Amen? Amen. Churches out there believe in this. And we've been smoking marijuana. What they call it? Rock family? They feel like that? Mm. Smoke your little tablets and see some visions? Jesus. The Rock family mean Jesus. They do. Amen? Amen. Got all kinds of churches out there. Jesus. Let's go to Revelation. Oh, Matthew chapter 24, verse number uh, number 24. Matthew 24, I'm going to wait and read that in verse 24. Somebody stick with the doctrine. Amen? Amen. Matthew 24 and verse number 24. And the word of God says like this For thou shalt arise false Christ, O oh Lord, and false, y'all say it, prophets. 
And shall what? They say everybody read that together because people just don't believe this kind of stuff is out here. Everybody read together. For there shall arise, everybody say, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. Everybody say, and shall and shall show what great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they would deceive the very Y'all don't understand. You don't understand. There's some people in church that ain't done with bone and bona fide hypocrites. And I know when you preach like this, people think you're being judgmental. Pastor, you so judgmental. Pastor, you so hard. But I'm telling you what the word of God said. Did the Bible say that shall arise false Christ and false prophets? That's right. That shall deceive many and show great signs in one. You don't follow. That's why saints ain't got no business following out the sign. That's right. That's why saints ain't got no business following out signs and wonders. That's right. right. The Bible said they're going to be showing great signs, not small signs. Get up out that chair and walk out. Jesus. <laughs> he didn't say it was going to be real. He said false. false. They'll also discover preachers that help to run the games. They'll discover preachers that have fake healings. Yes. And people will flock to them and give them money and they was having fake healings. Oh, yes. Pastor, you talk about the blasphemy. I'm talking about the word of God. Am I not in the book? That's the word. Great signs. And one is so much that if it were possible, they would they would shall see the very day. Everything that prophesied you ain't God. Amen. 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 Mama G, if anybody come prophesying to you, the Lord showed me you got another wife. I said, You out of your mind. <laughs> well, my wife gonna die. Because I showed him I have another, another wife no other way. I see you, Mama G, with a new good. Am I going to die? You need to ask yourself, ask the prophet, prophet, I'm married. <laughs> I've seen that. Yes. Y'all think I'm joking, I've seen it. Jesus. You see them prophets called getting off trying to prophesy your husband, you already got a husband. Uh, 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 prophet, I, I, I'm married. I don't care if you with your husband, I don't care if you're separated. If they ain't dead, if Jesus is born, you got to what? You got to what? I see, I see, I see, I see, you see, see you in a new house. <laughs> What's the prophet that say, prophet, I just closed. Uh, I've been in this house now for the last year. It's God going to give me another one. <laughs> 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 My goodness. Y'all think I'm joking. It says false. I ain't talking about legitimate prophets. Come on. I ain't talking about men and women of God that speak as oracles of God. I am not. Don't you dare think that I'm talking about two men and one of God. I said false Christ and false prophets. Because they're out there. I'm skeptical. I'm prophets has got to get a big offer for me. Guess what? I ain't seeing that God ain't speaking to them. But they're adulterating their guilt. They're prostituting their guilt. If you can't prophesy with me until I give you a thousand dollars. Where is that in the book? Now, if you prophesy to me and I drop a thousand dollars on you, I ain't asked for it. You gave it to me. But if I say you got a ten thousand dollar line and a thousand dollar line and a what am I get and a twenty dollar line, am I gonna get a twenty dollar problem? Man, I gotta get you on get twenty dollar problem today. You don't got twenty dollars, but sister here. Woo, Lord, I see, I see, I see. You got a thousand bucks, girl. I see God blessing you. You blessed in the city, you blessed in the field, you blessed going, you blessed coming. Everything you took is going to be right. But you need to drop the mic for a second and whisper in your ear and say, baby, you need to give up that another man you got. Come on, that's right. Money drop the mic and tell you that. Before God bless you, that's why right. give up that other man or woman you got. Amen. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Yes. Somebody just want okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going, why am I going there? I'm going there. Because some minds are weak. Yes. And they need somebody to speak it to them. Yes. 
Man, you better get strong. Yeah. You better get strong real quick. Because if I find that I can speak into you yeah. and manipulate you, that's what I'm going to do. That's right. Yeah, come on now. I want to hear a word from the Lord. Why don't you get in your power heart as fast as they pray? My God will appear to me in a dream. Let the prophet's word sometime, ain't said all the time, sometime let the prophet's word be confirmation instead of revelation. That's right. Son, you serve the same God that the prophet serves. You serve the same God that the prophet has served. You can't even God something wrong with you. The Bible said my sheep and my voice. Are you a child of the living God? I mean, you have to have somebody to prophesy you all the time. False prophets and cults. Man, you got some people so wrapped around folks' fingers, they can't move until they. Uh, 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 can, can, I, can, can I go down? To, can I go to the bathroom? Jesus. <laughs> people I have you so twisted, you can't do nothing without asking permission. Y'all don't know that's out there. That's out there. That's out there with men, honestly, men of God that have been adulterous and he, he they feast on women in the church. And guess what? The women are scared to leave. And I'll tell you Help us. Amen. False prophets. False teachers. All right. We're going to leave that alone. Ain't time to go for now. <laughs> All right. If you're the type of person that need a prophetic word all the time, something is missing with your walk with God. That's right. That's right. I've got to go down. If you're the type of person that always got to get a prophetic word from somebody, something is missing in your walk with God. You got 66 books. You got the Holy Ghost. You speak in tongues. And you got to. Fall behind the prophet and the prophet all the time for a word. Because you can't hear the God for you. See, the problem, let me tell you what the problem is. You ain't listening enough to God. You have not developed spiritual ears to hear from God. Let's go to the next verse. Let's go to the next verse. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse number 13. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13. It's a teaching day. It's a teaching day. Oh, yeah. You come here with the prophecy. Come here with the prophecy. Yes, if God leads you, you go. But don't you dare do something that is contrary to the word of God. And I tell you, I don't believe God speaking through that man of God. If he's telling you to do something that's contrary to the word of God, there's something wrong now. Amen? Amen? Let's go to the word of God. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me, Jesus. If any man tell you, Mom, you married the wrong man, if they tell you that, Guess what I'm going to say? We's married. Look, look, crook, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> got you. So what you supposed to do? Divorce me and go get somebody else? Come on, now. See, it cannot go above the word of God. Even if it's so, if you marry the wrong person, you can't really undo that. You can't undo that, except you have grounds for that. That's right. So even though the prophet may have been right, you still got to obey what? The word. The word of God. That's right. <laughs> Woo, Lord. Your pen drop. Okay. 7 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse number 13. Amen. I'm going to read this. Amen. 7 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 13. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let me back up a little bit, verse number. Number 12. But what I do, that I will do, 
that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion. That what? Therein they glory, they may be found even as I. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. For such a false apostles. Yeah. Am I making this up? Are y'all reading it out of y'all mind? Everybody say it again. For such a false apostles. Don't be afraid to some people say I'm my own blasphemy. Hold on. Baby, you read the Bible. What's wrong with you? You read the Bible. For such a false apostles. Some people say, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Call the way up on the Bible. Well, since I don't call it, I'm going to read out the word. For such a false apostles. Heard of that. Whose end shall be according to their works. 
Amen. So everyone you see in the house of God that's pretending to be a minister really ain't. Amen. Everything that rock and jump and shout and mobile ain't the real deal. I'm telling y'all what God is. Some of y'all believe that. It don't matter who lay their hands on me, who pray for me. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, it does. Let me explain something to you. You are attached to people. Mom, let me tell you, you're attached to a lot of people. I'm going to be surprised if people will be promised out all kinds of stuff here. Because you got so many people you're attached to. Anyone that's got family, anyone that's got children, people can see past the person and see their potential. I see you by yourself, but you have a husband that make good money. In. I see you by yourself, but you got a daughter that I might be interested in. I see you by yourself, but you got little boys and girls that I might be interested in. You false to possible. You unclean spirit. That's scary. I tell these women, but you say, and you got children, be careful who you marry. Hello. But you got but you got some low down dirty dogs out there. They looking at you and they looking at your children too. Now can I can we just stop playing games and see when we preach like that oh you you children? It's the truth, baby. It's the truth. It's the truth. They ain't marrying you because they love you. They ain't looking at your child. I just met. I just met him last week, and the Lord said, "It's gonna be my husband." The Lord said that. You said the Lord said. When you said the Lord said, you said a lot. That's right. And guess what I'm gonna say to you? Since you just met him last week, if you want me to marry you, I ain't gonna do it. Amen. 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 If the Lord is talking, why can't you give us some time? Right. I'm telling y'all what God is. And I will tell you, you need to go down to the Justice of Peace if you want some peace. Because you sure they don't get nothing. Because <laughs> I ain't do it. Leave it alone, Pastor. You judge it again. I'm judging it again. Oh, Lord. I'm trying not to be judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yeah. That's it. How is it that this man of God been married four times, or three times, or two times? What was wrong with your first wife, Apostle? Mm. Unless your wife died. Well, I'm working on my third marriage. You're working on your third marriage, preacher. Well, obviously, you want to say it first, too. I get that. No, I was in church. <laughs> you was in church. Yeah. You was in church. Yeah. So did your wife backslide. Did she run off with the male man? Right. Then you can't marry them. That's right. Amen. See, when you start teaching like this, right. people don't want to hear that. Right. People true. don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear that I see the Lord got another one for you that's going to treat you better too. Jesus. I ain't going to lie to you, baby. I ain't got time to lie to you. Life is vain too short, and we're going to all stand before the judgment seat of God. That's right. Amen? That's right. Amen. I ain't talking about that stuff that you dealt before you came to the knowledge of Christ. You may not have known, but now, since you come to the knowledge of truth, your sin is going to remain in the presence of God. divorce in the house of God. It's too much remarrying in the house of God. 
It's too much jumping and shouting and ain't obeying the word. Amen. Too much. How they oh, I'm going now. Shall I go down? Jesus, help me because I'm going now. I am so going now. I need you to help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. How can you be bothered birth control pills and try and lead praise service at the same time? Leave it alone, Pastor Jones. Well, I don't want to get pregnant. If you ain't doing it, you don't worry about it. Come on, Come on, If you ain't doing it, come on, Come on, man. Leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. I remember a preacher said a long time ago. He looked at some, some, some young young lady. He said, "I know what you can do." Jesus. <laughs> All right. She was pregnant. That's why I know what you can do. But anyway, y'all, I want y'all to understand. We got to start obeying His word. That's right. We got to start obeying His word, and we cannot be jumping and shouting and neglecting the word of God. And I'm trying to tell y'all, there are false prophets and false pastors and false prophetess out there, they are. And some of them don't even know they're false. Baby, and it's, they don't even know they're false. Man, I've heard of men sleeping with men and they ain't stepping down, still preaching the word of God like they're going crazy. And if you hear them preach, they sound like a preaching wild man. Something wrong with that. Something wrong with that. And that's happening right here in Mobile. Yeah. And you think I ain't afraid to call him a false apostle, a false prophet, a false prophetess? They're false, baby. Yeah, yeah. If you married to a wife and still trying to give it the brothers, something wrong with you. Come on, man. Come on, man. Preach. All right. Here we go to the word of God. Let's lay John 7, Peter chapter number 2, verse 1 through 15. Come on, say thank you, Pastor. I'm going to say thank you for you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to the word of God. 7 Peter chapter number 1, verse 1 through 15. Simon. Chapter 2. 7 Peter chapter 2, verse 1 through 15. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Hey, that ain't nothing new. Go ahead and read. Who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. What is the purpose of the false prophet or the false teacher? To bring in damnable heresies. Somebody say hearsay. Heresies. Amen. False teachings. Go ahead and read. Even denying the Lord that brought them. Keep reading. And bring upon themselves swift destruction. There's one preacher out there. Preacher be out there preaching that everybody going to be saved. Everybody going to be saved. Baby, that's contrary to my Bible. And that man of God is saying, oh, Lord, he is saying, oh, Jesus, he is saying. But it's all where he got messed up. Right. And I'm not afraid to say he's a false teacher now. Keep reading. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Uh -huh. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So many gonna follow their way. Mm -hmm. So you got false teachers and false prophets. And how many gonna follow their way? Many. Many. See, everybody, you get you are you're somehow, you are somewhat spiritually naive. We believe that everything in the house of God is spiritual. Now, read that again and read it slow. And many shall follow their pernicious way. And many shall follow their pernicious way. There are many people upon the false teachers and false pastors today. Keep reading. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with vain words make merchandise of you, uh -huh. whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not. They know how to use their mouth to manipulate you. They know how to use their gift to what? Practically manipulate you. Right. Man, I get them over here in the house of God, well, I'm gonna get a packed house, we gonna jump and shop for about 30 minutes, and I'm gonna tell them sugar, sugar, sugar water. Green the green, green the green, green the green. They'll say anything. Amen. Please repeat it. No. Shut up. Who's judgment now? We will say like Keep reading. Whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Yeah. For God spared not the angels that sin. 
but cast them down to hell and deliver them into the chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. And spare not the old world, but save Noah. That save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. And delivered just like vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to preserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. They don't like authority. They don't like authority. They don't respect authority. They say what? Despise government. Yeah, keep reading. Despise government, presumptuous are they. Self-will. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusations against them before the Lord. As you can see, I have not mentioned no preacher name. I think I mentioned Jim Jones. He's dead. He's dead. I have not mentioned no live person name in this pulpit. I don't like using live people names, but they're out there. I try not to use life in the name. Amen? Amen. You understand me? Amen. But I got to warn you what's out there. Amen. Everything that jump and shout ain't of God. I'm trying to warn somebody. And just because they got a prophetic word for you don't mean that Jesus is speaking through them to you. I'm telling y'all what. A cult leader. We deal with false teaching. Did we finish that up? We, we're going to finish that up in just a minute. False doctrine is something that is contrary against the Word of God. The Bible teaches holiness, but they're teaching liberation. That's false teaching. The Bible telling us to be holy, but they tell you you can live any kind of way you want to live. All the God who is just believe. Okay, and a cult, a religious cult, is when you have a leader that's able to manipulate folks' minds. And okay, here we go. We're thinking about a big old church. We're thinking about people following folks. Man, you can be a cult in a small group. Right? If you got the ability to control people's minds and manipulate folks' minds, right. you are a cult leader. Amen. You may be a small group cult leader, but you're still a cult leader. And a cult leader will lead you away from the truth in the falsehood. That's what a cult leader does. Please read Lake Lake Jones. Just wrap this up. But these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of things that they understand not. Read, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Uh -huh. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. As they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime, spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, and heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children, which have forsaken the right way, and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bozor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Amen. Got two more scriptures here with them. Yeah, out there. Amen. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Let's go there real quick. Dealing with this false teaching. False doctrine, false teaching. Amen. Yeah. Right there. And I'm not trying to, yeah, you go fellowship with who you want to fellowship with. Just make sure God is leading you. Amen. I went to this church, and time I got to the door, Holy Ghost said, don't go in there. Jesus. I was going to go inside this church and Holy Ghost said, don't go in there. I turned around and I went back to my car. I'm glad I ain't followed by that man of God. Right. Because the people that follow him is twisted this day. 
whatever he say, do exactly what he say. They don't think, some of folks don't even think for themselves. Jesus. They don't have a I don't want y'all to be following a man of God, a woman of God, and you don't know, can't think for yourself. You got to be able to reason for yourself. Right. Don't let nobody brainwash you that you can't think for yourself. That's right. You got to be able to make righteous judgment. Yes, right. Amen. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 2. Let's let y'all read that for me. Here we go. Until the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works. I know thy works. And thy labor. And thy labor. And thy patience. Uh -huh. And how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Uh -huh. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. They say they are apostles. Go ahead and read. And are not. And have found them liars. Have found them to be liars. Mm. You have a right as a child of God to try them that claim to be apostles. That's right. You're not a in the Holy Ghost. Look at their lifestyle. If they're not living it, don't follow them. Amen. And the true apostles, follow them. Right. But know their lifestyle. Go ahead and we drop down to verse number 18 to 22. And unto the angel of the church of Thyatira, write these things, said the Son of God, who have his eyes like unto the flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet are like fine brass. Yes. I know thy works. I know thy works. And charity. And charity. And service. And service. And faith. And faith. And thy patience. Mm -hmm. And thy works. And the last to be more than the first. Degree. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Wow. Because thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess. She calls herself a prophetess. I'm scared of folks that always walk around calling themselves, I'm prophet so and so. Mm -hmm. I've been reading one man of God, that man of God can preach. Oh my Lord, brother, you preach. He was gifted. I met him, he was a prophet. The next time I saw him, he was a pastor. He got graduated. I ain't said, and God may have actually done it that way. But it makes you wonder the prophet went enough. Now the next, I see you next year, now you're an apostle. Now I don't think he passed it in this area. Yep. Keep reading that again. Quick. Now it's standing. I have a few things against thee, uh -huh. because thou sufferest that je that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, yes. to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. They have a seductive spirit. Jezebel had a seducive, a seductive spirit. See, Jezebel wasn't just because she, you know, we talk about the way she dressed, she was just right. like, no, Jezebel operated in a seductive right. spirit. That's right. It was a spirit of seduction that she operated in. It don't say nobody she was dressed like, you know, the, the Old Testament Jezebel had her face painted, right. but the New Testament Jezebel, it don't say nothing about her having her face painted, nothing like, and we so quick to talk about her Jezebel. But you got you got to understand when you say Jezebel, you're talking about a spirit. Right. She had a spirit of seduction. Yes, yes. Jesus, help us. And some people can't discern that. Mm. It's sad that some people in the house of God cannot discern anointing from gifts, Amen. from talent. How is it that you can live like a grand wrestler and sing like an angel? A preach like a wild man. Are you anointed or are you just gifted? That's right. Call a spade a spade. You're just gifted. gifted. Some people just got the preacher voice. Some people just got the bishop voice. It was given to them from birth. It's not an anointing. Some people can just say, but they can't live nothing. It's not an anointing. It's the gift, baby. It's the gift. And you gotta get some discernment to know which one is which. Right. The church gotta wake up quick. You wonder why these folks that ain't living nothing can go up high in the church and without and not having and not really having a lifestyle. You wonder why a preacher can preach to thousands and thousands of people and in privately speaking with somebody else. Oh, yes. My Lord. It ain't anointing, it's a gift. Yes. Yes. 
Don't get it twisted. Our heads bowed, our eyes closed. That's why I tell people, I'm not, I'm, I'm not impressed with gifts. 